What is good? Good people. So this is a uh, Milky Way messengers, and then my dude Ziggs, and I, I always pause there or seem to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> funny positionings uh i've never never really watched much of milky way before so uh when i was uh guided towards this through genevieve so shout out to genevieve thank you very much for this uh this is just beautiful synchronicity as, as it always is with uh with all of y'all So I watched uh, a couple others, uh, things that Milky Way did, and uh, you know, bits and pieces here and there, and just to get a feel of them, I definitely vibe with this guy. And then zigzags coming in, you know, uh, I'm very attuned with with the energy that zigzag uh, has. Uh, is, is cultivating the energy that he is cultivating here and this is kind of just why I'm making this is because uh, there's a there's a opening happening with with people because of the uh, this situation that we find ourselves in uh, more people are beginning to ask questions and, and to seek answers for themselves instead of relying on the system whatever it may be the media to to provide them with answers so i'm seeing a very big surge in not just uh you know responsibility and self sustainability but uh, especially within gardening And this is uh, very, very huge, very important, because it's coming back to our roots. And uh, right before this, I watched uh, J. Chris 444. Uh, probably not not the one he just did, but the one before that. And, you know, it just right, right on fucking point with, with everything that, that I've been seeing and engaging uh, you know the need to have a garden and and have this connection but then also with with uh, Jay Chris there there was there was so many like specific messages like for me and and I, I've been getting these a lot lately, and I've been hmm. it's to a uh, it, <laughs> it's to the point where it's pretty much just blatantly in your face it's it's, it's basically a slap in the face, so I mean I'll, I'll admit it. It's a slap in the face. Uh, yeah. The things that are coming out, the things that I'm finding, uh, just, just so, so uniquely specific that it's, and this is the thing that, you know, once once we, uh, we kind of start to wake up a little bit and go through certain layers, we, we have to come to realize not just how, how to uh, perceive things or discern things, but also to realize that, you know, there are things that are meant for certain people. There are things that are meant specifically for you. So whenever you are seeing something and it's giving you a reaction, that is specifically, like, you know, the universe, God, whatever kind of, uh, you know, deity or mentality that you want to have with, with all that. Uh, just, just fucking life, dude. It's specifically for you. Every little moment, like, to the minute, <laughs> to, to, 
the nth degree of, of every little vibration. It, it's fucking for you, dude. So the only thing that needs to be transformed is, is the mentality and the engagement of what we are witnessing and perceiving and integrating integration this is the whole point of this stuff uh you know we can go through intense life experiences but ultimately it comes down to what are you willing to integrate what are you willing to engage Yeah, I'll start playing some of this, and then, and then I drew a card, and of course, you know, it's it's fucking right on point. It's it's perfection. It's what I've been talking about with uh, the few people uh, uh, that I've been talking with uh, online. I haven't been talking with very many people online. Just just a specific few people, because you know. Uh, Like I've been saying since uh, 2020 started, even before, it was uh, a year of refinement. So, uh, yeah, essentially, this is uh, what, what it's been. Fine-tuning and refining. Uh, getting very, very clear on what is, uh, what is essential. <laughs> the uh, the essential businesses it's very humorous whenever you can approach it from a uh, aspect of as within so without micro and macro because uh it, this is uh, uh <sighs> i i will go into why this is so perfect because it is very perfect Of uh, how this has happened, because it, it it was not supposed to happen this way, uh, and I, I just kind of talked to someone about this. This was supposed to be a multi-layered kind of uh, agenda or attack, you could call it. But uh, so many things got disconnected that they went ahead and pulled the string on the fucking virus shit. Uh, the, the, the scamdemic that, uh, it just, also what I've been saying is, it's undoing itself. Which, which also is in many layers here. So, I mean, this, this isn't, ah. Uh, Whenever, whenever you you start to tap into the level of egregors and uh, collective thought images and the power of that, you can kind of start to see on uh, um, a more larger vantage point or, or not even bird's eye view, but like just uh, a star's eye view of what's going on here. And how something changed so that this could go ahead and play out so that the effect that happens is reversed. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'll play some of this and maybe talk a little bit and then pull this card and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Meaning it takes a pull after a while where your stamina starts to drop. You start to try to push your experiences and you can't hold your awareness in certain states. Like I came out of body. And the thing is that how long can you stay out of body? How many different experiences can you experience out of body without you snapping out of it? You know what I'm saying? It also takes a level of focus. So what he's saying with that is, uh, 
he's basically going as within, so without, and he's saying that you know he he's translating uh, the different the different uh, layers and levels uh, of uh, beingness. Um, he's integrating it into his waking life. So uh, some people call it time management, energy management, but it's really just a focus, managing your focus. What what, and this is also something that uh, is happening with a lot of us. It's just a different layer of focus. Like we're not engaging things maybe that we used to uh, as much in the past. Uh, we're choosing. And not, not just our time wisely, but we're choosing how to emit our energy, how to create time, how to create uh, circumstances, aware, uh, become, becoming aware of the realities that we are creating. So becoming more fine-tuned in that process. Which will also, you know... Uh, bleed into you know the the deeper level the layers that you dive into with uh integrating you know the, the subtle awarenesses and aspects of reality like uh lucid dreaming going out of body and then also the flip side of that which is you know intense uh levels of working out of engaging deep level breath work and 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 then ultimately melding the two, and which which what we will get into here probably pretty quick, is uh the the, uh, and then what I've been saying to people is you know I'm not getting caught in the two sides, uh, the two poles polarities, but finding that uh, center point, the monad, and uh, blam, uh, creating the circle. So we have to engage the, the polarities so that we can uh, recalibrate and become very fine-tuned in our balance, okay? Balance, this is the key here uh, with this video is balance and recognition and a realization of a deeper Layer and level of truth and engagement with this truth. You know what I'm saying? The moment you start to think, you snap out of that experience. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that have, I, I, I've actually said, you know what, I'm going to manage my energy. Like if I was managing a bank account, you know what I'm saying? There's certain little things that don't matter. Like literally things here, everything is not, it, it, you, we say it's material, but it's empty space. It only materializes if feed an emotion to it because that's what people say they're in their feelings. Exactly. And this is and this is the key the key thing here to, you know, uh realization, manifestation, wh whatever kind of new agey shit that you've been caught up in or that you uh don't quite understand how it is uh, how it translates and trickles down that you manifest your own reality. It's the feeling, the emotion that you put into the image. And uh, we have been taught, you know, to be disconnected from, from uh, the images, uh, especially the images of truth. The images of the living matrix. So once you begin to tap into this, uh, you know you become there, there's a certain layer that you can go through uh, where you get like uh, kind of caught up in. Oh hey, this works! I have power here. I can start to manifest things and. Uh, put emotion and energy towards things that I want, but then you go through that layer and you realize, well, what do I really want? What, what is really real? What is really true? What is really meaningful and lasting and of benefit? 
not just for me, but for all me's, everything, everyone. So we, we are going through this process here of realizing what, what is most important. Also shout out to uh, Cortese because uh, he's always flipping things <laughs> to uh, the benefit of um, Sometimes to the point where it's, it, it kind of seems unrealistic for me. Just, just, and it's just from a certain vantage point. It's linguistics. It's really just imagery. So, uh, when the imagery is clear, like everything else falls into play. So, uh, yes, things are happening, but, but it's not the design. <laughs> wasn't for this to happen. The the design was for you know, a certain agenda. So the things that are flipping around uh, in in on themselves. Well, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes we don't need to know the the, the exact causation of why things are happening. We, it's, what what's important is that we. Uh, continue to feed this uh, beneficial growth process and not continue to feed the uh, deadening or the corruption uh, the the false matrix you, you could liken it to and that also goes back into cymatics and uh, frequency even language The uh, the tonalities in the words, the vowels that have been uh, slowly over time, you know, taken out and then also added in to uh, the linguistics. So there needs to be there. There comes a point where language in the form of words only gets in the way and then you tap into the language of you know you could say you know language of love or language of light it's it's really just a, a direct engagement language it's the language of gnosis okay it's maybe the title of this now that i come to think about it language of gnosis tapping in the vat again L Remembering and learning how to listen to that, which is not just inside, but is, is reflected in everything outside of you, reflected back to you, to what, ultimately what is within, because, you know, regardless of where you want to come from with, you know, uh, creationism or, or God or, uh, divine intellect or universe or ev even evolution which which is uh, a convoluted concept in and of itself but there comes a point where You recognize and re recog the, the the cognition comes comes back online. You spark that uh, inspiration, the intuition, and the ignition comes into play, where the remembering, the the embers of the heart of the soul, come back, uh, are reignited. And you get back in touch with uh, your origins, and it goes beyond, way beyond thought and words. And you you can engage this you know, in every little moment that you that you have. We're not supposed to be disconnected from this stuff. 
uh, our origins and who we are, this, this, this occulted nature. This occulted world that we are we are coming out of. Its design is to uh, confuse and to separate, and to cause chaos. So whenever you go the other way, you go that way. You you go the opposite way of that. Start to realize the uh, conductivity, the the continuity, the communion that happens whenever you you tap in and tune in to this wavelength, this, to this frequency of union and reunion of uh, self. So if you live your life too emotional, that's why, you know, I've seen videos by Abraham Hicks. He's talking about the vortex. To me, the highest and most of Okay. <laughs> I'll stop it again just because, uh, yeah, that, that, that Abram Hicks, uh, is Right there in, in the uh, initiatory aspects of my, you could say, awakening or, or, or whatever terminology one wants to use. But uh, it, it was a book that, that I read, Asking It Is Given. I highly recommend that. Abraham Hicks. And uh, it went into like such fine-tuned level of manifestation and how you, uh, the things that are correlating and happening with the manifestation and with your level of focus and how you are manifesting essentially. One vibration is the one that's right in the middle, which is neutrality, because from there it's basically the God mode. You know what I'm saying? Like when Zero point. You can get blinded by bliss. You can get blinded by light. Just like you can get blinded by, you know, the lower emotions, the desires. You know what I'm saying? That's why like, I keep saying it, it, it can't always be love and light. No, it can't. And that's the thing. That's why even when you look at what they do. That's, and to hear people say that, like, for me, you know, uh, hearing people say that, uh, that's, that's a, a layer where I know that, you know, they've been through this shit. They know what the fuck they're talking about on certain levels. Because, yes, you know, uh, origin, origin, it is love and light. And, uh, you know, that's where we came from. But we have the shade and the shadow and the dark for a reason. And, yes, this has been occulted and manipulated in the time that we are living in to cause mass confusion and mass chaos and then uh you know to ultimately manifest in uh, another cycle of where the fuck we're at right now but you know it's like i've been saying it's it's turning in on itself So uh, basically, like we're coming back to the realization that it is all love and light. Oh shit! How do we do we engage this um, responsibly, accurately, acutely? What are the what are the ways in which we uh, find these origin points? Hmm? These are the questions. This whole COVID nineteen. See, there's one thing I've came to a realization. Careful with saying that word, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> the C word. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. No, it's okay. The C word, you fucking cunty, cuntalingus motherfuckers. Ah, uh, yeah, we we have to be careful with the censoring right now, right? Well, but what the fuck ever. Uh, we'll, we'll see if, if, if he gets into, uh, maybe he already talked about it, the gardening, but we'll see. We'll go a little bit more here. 
you know, when it comes to that, I mean, they're they're doing their part. The reason, my opinion, and that this is the thing, though, I, I'm also speaking from a, a my opinion standpoint of view because I, I don't really get into the page or anybody, but I think they have their own. They're doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. somebody exposes their stuff, they're banning it because they say this is our. You're talking about us. You get what I'm saying? So when we do a video, we talk about our experience and our journey. You know what I'm saying? So let's say if, if them, and, and I see they for the same conversation, because they is actually really even us, to tell you the truth. Like yeah, yeah that's different. always a big, uh, good it's, it's thing. Like a, who are they? Who is they, you know? Well, the they, 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 it's really you in, in actuality, but it's a different version of yourself. See, and you have, this is what I feel people have to be very honest with themselves when they do work with themselves, is if you had the keys to this world, how would you be managing this world? Would you be doing the exact same thing as the government and is that the reason why it triggers you? You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, what triggers you is you're seeing a reflection. Exactly. Precisely. And um, and it's basically just about uh, changing your perception about it. Like people say, you know, they're exactly. old and whatnot, but to me it's more about looking at it from the bigger picture. Like even the religious standpoint, I look at how religion operates. If you look at the big picture, because everybody's stuck in one little channel of the, their religion, you know what I'm saying? But when you look at the big picture, they're all basically they're all talking the about the same thing. And if you really look at the big, big, broad perspective of it, everything is basically all coming back to you regardless of how you put it. If you put yourself in a victim space, then you'll just keep attracting more of that and you'll start seeing more of that based on what they do. But what they put out is to is to give you a reaction. You feed an emotion to it. And, and that's where it's a mental warfare. It's not a physical war. You know what I'm saying? It, it's all a war of, of how you see things and how you can uh, manage your emotions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, uh, so so the, the, the physicality, uh, the manifestation of where we find ourselves right now is a uh, just a uh, diluted version of what's trinkly down from what's going on in the uh, where it is originating from the the initiatory aspect of these things which is the mind all all is mind so we say mental warfare but really it's it's just a game it's just a game of perception how, how you can trick enough people into believing a certain thing and then that collective thought has way more energy and oomph and power than e e even uh, a, a very acute human being, an actual human being who can actually uh, manifest and engage the natural world on the deepest levels even they will have a hard time combating this collective ignorance script. So, you know, uh, people are like, it's a spiritual warfare, it's a war on the mind. Well, the, the war, the only w raw war that is happening is inside of you. So when you release... The frustration, the the angst, or whatever it is that's triggering you, that that's causing you to have uh, triggered responses in the first place, um, that needs to be your first step. If you're being triggered, to be like, okay, like, this is this is a layer that's like uh, people people become uh, comfortable with with their enigmas and their engagements and their responses they they and this is just what we've been taught to do is to wrap a mentality and a reasoning behind why we are you know feelings uh triggered or or whatever but if you're being triggered take a step back and realize uh that you, you need to uh get rid of that fucking word basically or or just transmute it into something that that's uh 
you know, like a cosmic trigger. That that's you just spring from that and totally uh, transmute and transform what 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 where you came from from that positioning, the repositioning, the pure positioning, the purpose. You find a new purpose by repositioning yourself. So the point is understanding the emotion, the energy, the energy in motion. Becoming responsible with our energies. So I love that Zig Zag said energy management instead of time management. Basically, you know, he's flipping the script on time and that's emit. We become responsible with our emissions. That's that's what it's all fucking about, people. And I'll end it with that. That's fucking awesome. And I'll read from this card here. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this. Uh, definitely check this video out. Uh, both these guys are, are are fucking awesome. There's a lot of blue energy here. I'm noticing <laughs> right now, at least. Also, uh, the background of Milky Way was fucking sublime, supreme, superb. Uh, very reminiscent of a lot of uh, kind of states or mentalities, even. Yep. Two pentacles. Of course, it's balance. A solid figure balances on a rock while juggling two pentacles. The slickness of the stones does not disturb her steady rhythm. Though the sea is dark, the lighthouse provides clarity. Her expression is sly as she peers over her spectacles at the pentacles in her hands. The two of pentacles marks the search for equilibrium. During a very busy time, you are juggling a life full of projects and commitments, trying to find the resources to support them all. Your life is a balancing act between worldly affairs and inner challenges, responsibilities, and having fun. The juggler's trick is to maintain grace, gaiety, and the adaptability in the midst of change. She shows you how to combine outer achievements with inner growth, allowing one to feed the other. If you can manage to keep up your present commitments, this is an excellent time. Begin new projects. Money and energy are available for those, for these endeavors. But you will need to take a few risks and make full use of your talents. Even if your hands are full, you have the opportunity to learn to see the sacredness in daily tasks and develop spiritually through work and play. That's that's beautiful. And that's that's 
pretty much exactly what I needed to see. So uh, hopefully that's a nice reflection for for y'all. Because that's also something that I've been uh, seeing lately is people doing a lot of different kind of movements. Uh, just just what's the energy, and also uh, their locale moving to different locations for, uh, from, from what I've been witnessing in my awareness is for gardening, for having new places to, uh, have a garden. And that's exactly what it is for me right now. And it just happened like pretty recently where I was like, Hey, I got this fucking, uh, stimulus fucking government bullshit, whatever the fuck's going on. And because of this stuff, I'm also... I'm also making a little bit extra as well, so uh, I'm like, hey, time time to find a place where where I can ground a little bit more than than when I am here. Even though there's a lot of benefits to where I'm at right now, quite a few, and that's kind of why I've been here. But. Do those benefits outweigh the potentialities of finding a place where I can ground and be more connected with nature? Uh, and yes, it's mentality. And yes, we can we can believe we can uh, tell ourselves that we are this, we are that, we are connecting. But there, there, it's a whole nother world, okay? Uh, take my word for whatever, but direct experience will trump all. So experience for yourself. It's a whole nother world when you go bare feet on the soil and you start to grow and plant a garden and connect and, and understand uh, doctrine of signatures that... These plants were made for you. They're, they're designed to help uh, aid your growth and in remembering your place here, the origin point. So find these places inside of yourself and follow. Where those places lead you outside of you. Follow the outside back to the in inner worlds and in the inner landscape. And that will eventually lead you to who you truly are. Peace.